Okay, let's have the solution to plain truss. In particular, this is a Baltimore truss. For the Baltimore truss shown, determine the stresses in bars J, Q, C, U, and V, W. So that's the figure. We can determine J, Q, S stress of J, Q by first looking at joint H, then summation versus Y, then we can find SHQ, which is also 40 kilonewtons. So SHQ, the stress in HQ equals 40 kilonewtons tension. We then proceed to joint Q, and these are the forces involved where this force is already found, 40 kilonewtons. So I will only name SJQ. Then we have here an axis perpendicular to JQX so that if we sum up forces along that normal axis, then members JQ, GQ, and QX will not be involved. Only the 40 kilonewton load and the stress in SQ will be considered. So let's call these angles, each angle theta, tangent theta is 3 over adjacent 4. So theta is 36.87 degrees. Then put the 40 kilonewton load this vertical force, summation forces along the normal axis equal zero at joint Q. So everything is going in the opposite direction. So negative SJQ, the angle it makes with the horizontal is 2 theta. So sin negative SJQ sine of 2 times 36.87. Then negative 40 times sine of theta 36.87 equals zero. So from here, we can compute SJQ equal to negative 25.00 kilonewtons or SJQ is 25 kilonewtons compression. Then we want to find the force in CQ. This member here, so look at the adjacent joints. At B, there are two, three members, two are collinear, then automatic this member BT will be zero. Then we we'll proceed to joint T. There are four members, but since BT is zero, it's like there are only three members and the two are collinear. Therefore, this unique member CT will be zero. Then at joint D, two members are collinear. DS is unique. Then summation first, why this is a zero force member, DS. We proceed to joint S. There are four originally, four members attached to this joint, but because this is zero, imagine there are only three. Then CS is a unique member, therefore CS is zero. We then proceed to joint C, everything is zero. So it's like there are only three members, BC, CD, and CU. Then CU is oblique from members BC and CD, therefore CU is zero, SCU is zero. So that's the stress in member CU. Finally, we want to solve for force or stress in member VW. So if we section VW, RG, or GR, and FG, then there will be three members cut, and the two members, FG and RG, which are not important here, pass through G. So if we consider left of that section, all forces left of that section, then we can find stress in VW. But before that, Let's compute the reactions, so AY unknown, AX is obviously zero, then RN. Considering the whole system, summation of moment about N equals zero, clockwise positive, so we have AY times 36 equals 60 times 12 plus 40 times 15. So AY is equal to 110 over 3 kilonewtons. Then considering forces to the left of section AA, Summation moment about G equals zero, clockwise positive. So these are the forces involved. I will only name VW because that's the only force involved when you sum up moment about G aside from AY. Equal zero, so let's remove everything. So we have SVW times eight plus AY 110 over three times 18 equals zero. 
So SVW equals negative 82.5 or SVW is 82.5 kilonewtons compression. So that's it for the solution to this problem.